DJ, put a nigga back to the record, baby, and give me this shit right now. Welcome back to, actually it's not welcome back, welcome to a new start, a brand new series, a longly anticipated series, my GM mode with the Detroit Pistons. I have been really pumped about starting this series and I'm sure you guys were too. Like, I've been talking about this in my past MLB series and it's finally here, I've been really, really been looking forward to this. So Brandon Jennings is taking the ball up court right here. He's had a, he had a monster game. I mean, his three-point game is insane. I didn't even realize he was that good. But like, everybody on my team, this, this game was just basically to see to see everybody's strength, strengths and weaknesses, which is why I did not end up winning this game. I'm saying, I'm saying right off the bat, it was not it was not a pretty game on my part because I had no idea what any of these guys could do because well, I knew Brent, Brandon Jennings, I love playing with Brandon Jennings, I mean he reminds me so much like John Wall which is who we are playing against which is kind of funny and speaking of John Wall he also had an insane game but one thing I think we did one thing I think we executed very well in this game was ball movement you'll see many plays in this um, in this video where we pass the ball around a ton and getting a wide open look for the three. But we need and look at this backcourt. Under under Miller such a retard. We definitely need some more three point shooters. I was listening to the announcers during this game and they kept saying that we did not have a reliable three point shooter. They kept saying that over and over. Then it got me thinking, like who who would be a perfect fit for this team? Who is a reliable three-point shooter that that we can just pretty much get for free? Like we'd just be getting rid of some crappy guy. And I have a guy in mind, and you guys will probably see him in next episode. And look at this: kick out to Josh Smith, kicks it out to Siva, out to Brandon Jennings for the wide open three. Bang! See. That was a great play, great example of ball movement. I mean, that's the one thing that we executed very well. Three-point shooting. If you, oh, I gotta, I gotta say something about this block by Josh Smith. That was excellent. Great defense. And our defense was wasn't even good. John, John Wall was just tearing us up. Like it wasn't even fun. So our three-point shooting. You'll see me throw in some of these clips where we just completely brick it, brick the three. Just, just to kind of defend my statement about how we need a new three-point shooter, new reliable, reliable go-to guy from behind the arc, if you know what I mean. Look at Greg Monroe, that little uh, fade. I don't know. I see if I could do that. And Caldwell Pope with the foul, and look at him. He is furious. He he got all ball on that. Well, at least he thinks he did. Against like freaking Andre Miller, who's like 85 years old. I don't, I don't even know why he's still in the league. But anyways, look at Caldwell Pope. I did not even know he was that good at threes. Like, that was just easy money. That was just so smooth. Smooth as silk. Overall, I think we played a decent game, even though we got kind of slightly blown out. But, hey, it was just a learning experience. Now I know what 
what these guys on my team can do and what they can't do. Like I know Josh Smith isn't very reliable from three, but he does can this three right here. But like when he's on fire from three, it's like it's pretty ugly. Just believe me. I'm sure it will happen once one time at least. And I'm gonna talk about the trade between um Mecca Okafor and Marcin Gortat that happened during the regular season. Oh and look at this lob to Josh to Josh Smith, sorry. Can't get my words out. I it was a complete steal for the Wizards because Okafor is getting old and Gortat during the playoffs has done really well has stepped it up before they got eliminated. And I just think that the Suns made a dumb move. I mean Gortat is Definitely way better than Okafor. And as the as the game winds out, we are down by 10, 56 to 46. I am playing five minute quarters on All Star. I think that's the difficulty. I'm playing on that. So these guys put in put in some good effort. I'm definitely gonna work on making making a move. I will probably may reveal them in the end of this episode. No, just kidding. You'll have to wait till the next episode. Ha ha. And they do get a friendly shake. Friendly shake. Say good game, you know. Good sportsmanship. And we end up losing. And this is the end of the, this is the, end of the episode. I'll see you guys in episode two. Which you're probably making your first trade. I will see you guys in a sec. See ya.